I'm Ian Schmidt, Kona Bicycles Product Manager, and this is the all-new Kona Process. The Process Platform comes in three different uh, configurations. We have our 153275, which is available in aluminum and carbon fiber. We have our 15329, which has 425 millimeter chainstays, which is a really cool feature. As are, those are some of the shortest chainstays available on the market in a long travel 29er. And we also have the 165, which is kind of positioned as our park do-all long travel bike that's still pedalable. When we started this project, we wanted to create a design that improved upon the pedaling characteristics of the original 153, but kept the same great descending characteristics, which were lively, uh, playful bike that also had great mid-stroke support and strong bottom-out resistance. In order to do that, we flatten the top of the leverage curve slightly so that it's not uh, completely linear any longer. And when you sit into your sag, you're sitting basically at the top of the progressive component of the suspension curve. So we created a bike that pedals amazingly well in the open position uh, by revising the leverage curve, and uh, it's pretty sweet. We took things that we liked about the old design and we wanted to keep a lot of those same traits in the bike specifically the low standover, but we really sought to put a bottle inside the front triangle. So what we did was use a metric trunnion shock, which has a longer stroke for a shorter eye to eye, and gave us more space within the front triangle to put the bottle. This is really advantageous as well because it allowed us to create a stiffer package built around 20 millimeter axles in the main and rocker pivots. So these bearings are really large, they're super durable, and they're also very long lasting. One of the things that we built around the bearing size was a three-piece axle system. They're male and female bolts that have a lock bolt that passes through and binds the two together. It's a really simple mechanism, but it works really well. All models use an aluminum chainstay for additional durability. Uh, that location takes a lot of abuse, specifically from the chain and impacts. Tire clearance was a big consideration with this project, but we did desire to make a really short chainstay still and keep the length at 425 millimeters. The rear tire clearance, you can fit a 2.5 on a 35 millimeter rim. The Carbon Bike uses the same type of internal cable management system that we've debuted on the Hey Hey. It also contains a small uh, little widget in the rear derailleur hanger in the down tube plate. The aluminum bikes are all using external cable routing, which passes on the top side of the down tube and underneath where the bottle cage sits. One of the other cool features about this bike, uh, the cable routing allows for the brakes to be routed in either direction, both moto or UK style, and in the conventional mountain bike style that we use here in the US. We also wanted to focus on adding really deep seat post insertion. We recognize that dropper posts are getting longer and longer and longer, and uh, we're big fans of that here at Kona. So the medium will accept 150 millimeter seat post inserted all the way to the bottom of the seat collar on a reverb without a connect a jig And the large and the extra large will take a 170. And the small takes a 125, but most riders would find that they'd be able to put a 150 in the seat tube. 